Lakers look to take charge at Staples Center. And we're bringing it to you live from Los Angeles here on 2K Sports. Bringing you another exciting NBA broadcast here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And now, the New York Knicks starters. Phillips and Fields pairing up in the backcourt. Turrieth out there at Jeffries. And it's Anthony in at the small forward position. And for the Lakers, Artest and Odom at the forward slots. Ron out there with Kobe. And it's Gasol and at the five spot. Well, you know, a recent stat said that in the last 15 years, the Lakers are on average the best offense in the NBA. But in crunch time, ironically, they fall to around 12th best offensively. Not nearly as effective. And so off the tip, it's New York. Here's Billups. 29 points for him last game against the Nuggets in Denver. Picked up by Kobe. Billups kicks to Novak. And taken away by Brown. I think he baited him on that pass. Very savvy. Brown jams it in. Replay here. Right slam cam showing it once more. They had a clear path to the hoop the whole way. Just over seven minutes left in the first quarter. When you talk about that great front court depth for the Lakers, all that length, rebounding, the ability to really crash the glass. Here is Nova. He's covered by Brown. And Carmelo Anthony hits from deep. More often than not, lead to a basket. Well, they've got such tremendous size. When you look at Paul Gasol and Andrew Bynum, you throw in Lamar. Those defensive def defenders are scrambling, and you're going to be able to get a high-quality shot. Here is Nova. Following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Gathers. An easy two points on the layup. Uh, he's a pleasure to watch on the offensive end. I know I wouldn't want to guard him. Not the Carmelo trade saga. Really an unwelcome distraction in a lot of ways. It hung over the players involved in Denver and, and in New York. And maybe took uh, some attention away from the great season. Yeah, I couldn't agree more there. I mean, hovered and hung around. And, but in the end, he got his way. He desired to be in New York, a place where he grew up as a kid. And uh, that motivated him to get to that place where he... Open threes. Get a hand up, fellas. Pay attention to the scouting report. Well, you know how quickly things can go south when you start giving up wide open looks to this team. Now here's Anthony. He's got 10. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And here is Walton. Shot clock at six. All sorts of time. Fisher can't hit. Boy, that's a warm-up jumper there. I mean, when you're a pro, you can't make excuses for missing that one. And here's Anthony. Good! What a way to close the quarter. Huge three right there. Yeah, and that's a deflator for the other team. Each other's styles and, and to figure out how to play uh, with each other. So with Gasol on the bench, this is the group Mike Brown has right now. Pat Barnes is out there with Luke Walton. Then there's Kobe. Then there's Derek Fisher. And it's Blake in at the shooting guard comes in for Bill Walker. And Landry Field subbed in for Tony Douglas. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Novak, the pass to Carmelo. Gasol with the steal. Here's Odom, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Tell you what, they were in the post. Good evening. It's time now for your HP Halftime Report. The Knicks scorching hot in the first half. A losing record for them in the early going. They're looking to get back on track. Carmelo Anthony just having his way against the Lakers. He's already racked up 27 points and a few assists, making nice plays for himself and others. There's no quit in the Lakers. They came to win. Great activity on the defensive end of the floor. They're forcing a ton of turnovers. Kobe certainly playing well so far. He has 20 points and he's applying defensive pressure, adding some steals as well. Not the closest game, but you got to hand it to both of these guys for setting the pace. Tony right now. Novak, he's in a point guard. Anthony out there with Brock. And there's Landry Fields. And it's Douglas in at the two. Lakers trail by 10. Brown outside. Fires from deep. Good. Brown's. 
Here is Novak. He goes up, somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Douglas against Kobe. The shot uses the glass to drop it in. Here is Novak. Goes straight up. Shots good by Anthony. Shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. Offensive rebound. And Kobe throws it down home. Boy, he's got enough hang time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> he had LeBron in Cleveland. Played in a lot of big games. No doubt he'll be under the spotlight. And he slams it home. Here's the replay on this right slam game. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's when awesome. you're in New York, you're a, you're a very attractive destination for free agents. And that's why they have gone that route uh, rather than through the draft. He's been seeing a really nice second round pick for him, Kevin. The Knicks didn't draft Tony Douglas, but traded for him cheap too. So even with moving their high pick, they... there's the pass to Carmelo. The dish now to Nova. Back to Anthony. Drops in the layup for two. Down kicks to Kobe. Our test against Anthony. Four on the shot clock. The Knicks leading by eight. Here's Novak. And yes, a nice assist from Billups. Picked up by Kobe. Here is Novak. He's covered by Brown. And there's another one for the Knicks. His third overall. Phillips dishes to Novak. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. They get Paul Gasol. You know, for so long we've seen the Lakers coast into the playoff, put themselves in a tight spot, and then find a way out of it. But in that series versus Dallas in last season's playoffs, they really looked like a tired and overmatched team. The Lakers making a switch here. Characters checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And for the Lakers, Kobe said, Clark, after that series, we've been playing with fire the last three years. Now, we finally got what we deserve. Uh, Steve, that is a very interesting quote. T take it apart for us and, and delve into it. Well, I think the Lakers had been to the finals for three straight years, and I think they... Down kicks to Kobe. Pulls it from the elbow. And there's another one for the Lakers. It's the Knicks have the style and mentality uh, to play a more Western uh, type game. In other words, getting up and down the floor, scoring big points, and, and really running as hard as you can on every possession. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. The Knicks have been much more competitive under Mike D'Antoni's watch, and frankly, they're... Oh, and the jam by Kobe Bryant. Come on now, I didn't see... Can you believe that <laughs> finish? Oh, a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of... Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, yeah, all right. That one. He's 33 right now going into this season. Wear and tear a part of the game. He's played so many minutes. Preseason, regular season, all those playoffs, Clark, he said is... And with his talent and his resume, he never needs to. No, nope, you're exactly right. You know, they're lucky to be leading here as much as we've seen rather loose control of the basketball. Mm -hmm. And, fellas, that's something they have to address. I mean, outside Odo. Phillips against Kobe. And in he goes for the easy two. From deep, Phillips. Rebound the Lakers. Odom's got seven rebounds in the game. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Another three from Kobe. There's the three. That doesn't go either for Phillips. A very rough quarter for him as not much is falling right now. Here's Kobe. He nails it, and we're tied up. Anthony against Brown. Nice job coming off that screen. 
over the top of screens defensively. Yeah, you got to tag him and stay right close to him because with his touch, he doesn't need much space to get a shot off. Our test, good. Outside, Kobe. Right side, Kobe. And there's another one for the Lakers. Yeah, and you know, Steve, the rebounding story really mirrors the game at large. I mean, it's been pretty much tit for tat, neck and neck. Stripped it away. Great job defensively getting out and forcing. Oh! That is just so sweet. I mean, power and skill combined to give us that reverse. Where do moves like that come from? Only from players like him, apparently. And some changes here for the Lakers. Al Gasol is checked in for Derek Carrick. And Derek Fisher's Phillips from outside. And so the Lakers take the win. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was. And I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. With the team in its worst slump of the season, this being your seventh straight loss, what's the more morale like in the locker room? And do you think a personnel change is in order here? Well, the guys are frustrated. The coaching staff is frustrated. I know the fans are frustrated. I think the group of players we have is what it takes to win. We just need to put the pieces together, you know? I feel like we're getting close, and I expect the team to turn the corner any day now.